All right, another new update, another new weapon added into the game. This time it's the legendary and epic variants of the tactical shotgun. Um, another shotgun to the game. I don't know if they're planning on vaulting one soon, or maybe maybe they'll vault the gray, blue, green uh, tacks. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's see what this can do. Um, I haven't actually read the patch notes yet. I usually do that after I test the weapon. Um, try to go in blind to what the weapon actually is. Um, stop. So, whew, 186 with the gray to the head. 16, 16 body shot. 83, 93. Okay, so it does pretty good shock at them. Let's see how fast it shoots. Okay, so it's not super fast, not the same as attack. I think a little faster than attack. 176. Okay, so this one packs an oomph. Let's check the uh, legendary. 195. Oh, the second one was a 19. Feels like it's super inconsistent. Either he's a really good shot. See, 184, then drops to 19 immediately after. 195, 19. I know it doesn't need to do that. Well, why does it do that? 97, 87, 17. Okay, let's check the damage drop off. So, this is, wait, this is about, okay, so let's do 10 meters. Okay, 10 meters. 88, it still does pretty decent damage at this distance. 77 body, 39 body. Okay, so it still does decent damage at this distance. Obviously, the drop-off is huge, because it drops from a 185 to, or 186 to 86. It drops off 100, but still, a legendary version. 102, so there's over 100 damage from this distance. 70, and the sound is great of this gun, Jesus. Alright, let's go back to, let's do 15 meters. 39, yeah, now the, the fall off is big time. 58, I mean, it still does decent damage. It's about the same as the combat would do from this range, so it's extremely, wait, so it's extremely viable so far. Oh my god, 41, okay, 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 let's go do 20. 22, 17. It definitely shoots faster than attack. Okay. This thing, uh, this thing shreds. Let's see on builds real quick. This is the... Has eight bullets in its clip. Or eight shells. Went through that pretty good. All right, so it goes through in about three bullets, three bullets, three to four. Okay, so that was the legendary and epic attack shotguns. I'm excited to use this in-game. It looks like it's a very strong weapon. Um, we'll see how it plays in-game. All right, so step one, finding the gun. Now, I want to land a pressure plant because in the new update, they also finished off the robot. They also unvaulted the suppressed... I mean, vaulted the suppressed sniper and unvaulted the... Bolty, which I'm happy and sad about because I really like the the suppressed Bolty, but also really love the Bolty. Nice, it looks dope. So it's like the um, what was your name? The skin, the um, singularity, where it has the different parts of each, like different versions of each skin. There are different styles that are for different skins, and it has those. Those are the skins that you see on this. The color team leader, the Rex. That's pretty cool. There's more stuff down here. Let's take this. Oh, right there. Okay, we got it, boys. We got it. Now let's just get in there. Go to work. 97! Get fucked! Spot of trash here. Bitch! It's 40 damage from a decent distance, actually. Oh my god. That's another thing they did in the patch was that they reduced, they, they nerfed the combat. They, it does less damage now as it did before. So it kind of gives you a, a thing, a reason to think about what you're going to use. Because normally you can make all combat because it still shoots fast and still does decent damage. This thing absolutely fucking annihilates it. Chance two. Oh, what, what is this damage? What is the damage output I'm getting right now? Bro almost killed me. I'm still undecided after that first game playing with it. The the issue that I'm seeing with it so far anyway is the inconsistency 
where at times you, you you get there and you'll get the headshot and it'll give you in 195, 190, 180, whatever it is. But then sometimes you'll get four straight shots where it's 30, 20, 60, 70, and it's like, wait, but what, then what's the point of the gun? If you're gonna do that, then just get a combat. Yeah, you're not gonna hit that 195 shot every once in a while, but you're at least not gonna, you know what I mean? Like you're gonna be able to shoot faster, and you're not gonna. You'll be able to, even if you're hitting 20s and 30s and 40s or whatever, you're shooting a lot faster because it doesn't shoot as fast. The combat shoots a lot faster than it does. Peace. What the fuck? 152. Suck it. See, like right there, that was good. And it's just pretty fast, so you can get the back to back shot. That was like an 80 and a something. I don't even know. Okay, dude. Really? That was a little bit of a distance. That's pretty decent damage. She hit me in the air there. Jesus, 44 damage off the freaking infantry rifle in the air. What the hell, buddy? Look at this dude. This dude loves to come and camp airdrop, bro. Stop it! You're mad annoying, kid. I think he fell off, by the way. Yeah, a couple 30s and 40s. Those are crits headshots, too, but they were a little bit of distance that time. That wasn't point blank, so I can't complain too hard about that one. Alright, so let's get in this last game and then I'll give my a comfortable conclusion on this weapon and what I think about it and what I whether I think it's a viable alternative to the combat. Now, that last match, I didn't have as many issues um, with the inconsistencies. I got a lot more consistent shots, a lot more consistent damage on that last game than I did in the first one. There weren't as many 20s and 30s and 40s. There was a lot more 70s and 80s and over 100. So, um, that's kind of why I want one more game. Usually, I play two, but just because the, the first two games were so different from each other in terms of the way they've been performed, I kind of want to get in a third kind of tiebreaker, if you will, to kind of see if it could perform more like the first game or the second game to know kind of where it stands as a weapon. Um, but as usual, the first thing is always to get the gun. <laughs> that was right there. I knew I saw it when I was going by. Hold up. Somebody open air drop, grab one, and you can grab the other. Okay. One shot. This thing does work. Are you mad that I killed your buddy? Ah, look at that. I killed you too. How about it? Oh my. What the fuck out of here, dude? Those are the kids, too. The fucking two defaults. 100%. <gasps> that was only a 60 damage headshot, which I don't approve of. But hey. Well, overall, I have a fairly positive outlook on this gun. I think that it is viable alternative to the gold and the purple combats um especially to the blue i mean if you got this over a blue combat you take it every time i would think even the purple one um so yeah it'd be interesting to see how it kind of develops and how people take to it um personally i would take this over a, a gold combat just because of the the, the fact that you can, it still shoots fast but it does damage and it's not super duper inconsistent as much as it, it, it could be um and if that, as much as i thought it was after the first game so um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how this kind of falls into place and how people view this weapon.